Good morning, everyone. This is David with Bolivar Live. Well, we're in the studio and I'm by myself, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit. We've got a busy week ahead of us. In fact, we're coming to you actually live, live from the studio. Um, we're w still working on the lights a little bit. Um, we got the chairs moved this weekend. We got drapes lined up. So the, we're on green screen now. In fact, uh, we're going to do a show on the new studio once we get all the lighting set later this week. But we've got a big week ahead of us. Um, it's Mardi Gras week here on Bolivar Peninsula. And the weather temperature-wise is looking great. Um, we may see some rain Friday on and off a little bit Saturday, but I really don't think it's anything we have to worry about, and it's really too early to tell. And so, you know, the Lighthouse crew has been putting on this Mardi Gras parade for years and years, and it's really grown uh, tremendously over the years. And it now leaves Camp Margaritaville. It stages in Camp Margaritaville. In fact, they give out awards there. And then proceeds down Highway 87. And so remember Saturday, probably about 1120, uh, 1125 or so, they're going to shut down the highway because the parade leaves out at 1130. And so anywhere between Jose's and Cobb Real Estate is a great place to set. Um, if you're wanting to get out earlier, uh, you can set up down by uh, Jose's and that way you can take the beach wherever you want. Hopefully the tide's not up so the washouts have water in them in case you want to leave early. I know usually I set up down by Jose's and then I run the beach uh, down to Stingery and get whatever they have. Their boiling pots are going to be going everywhere down here this weekend. And so some great food, some great family fun here on the upper Texas coast, Bolivar Peninsula. Uh, Mardi Gras is a great time down here. And like I said, the Lighthouse crew has been putting it on for years and years. And it's really grown um, to be a major player down here for parades. And as you can see uh, from last year's parade, the weather was beautiful. Might have been a little cool if I'm not mistaken. But... The great part is families come out, they cook, they barbecue maybe, have some boudin, maybe some sausage on a stick, maybe warm up some gumbo, waiting on the parade. And then once the parade starts, it's a family fun event, grabbing beads and candy and anything else that's thrown from the floats. But it's the after parties at the area venues that are really fun and they're family friendly. And so... Uh, once the parade's over, um, I know Stingray's going to have the boiling pot going. I know Jose's is going to have the boiling pot going. And so those are two great areas. Camp Margaritaville is going to have some live music later on that evening. And so everyone has live music uh, once the parade's over. And some of them into the night, like I know Jose's is going to have uh, music that evening also, during the, right after the parade, starting at about 1 or 2 o'clock. And then also following that in the evening, they're going to have some music downstairs and upstairs. And Stingery's going to have uh, Bayou Sounds, if I'm not mistaken, downstairs uh, following the parade. And so everyone has some great music this weekend. Everyone has some, the boiling pots going. Everyone has, is set and ready to kick off 2024. This is the first big event uh, for 2024. And it sort of sets the stage. Uh, once we get through this, then we're looking at, at spring break, the 11th through the 15th. And we have the secret phrase giveaway where we're going to be giving away um, hard-sided cooler full of goodies. Um, we have the, uh, once we get through spring break, then we have the sunrise service uh, Easter weekend, Sunday morning at Camp Margaritaville. Um, also an awesome event. It's been moved from the beach last year. Uh, it was getting to where the tides and the weather were, wasn't great, and with the stage set up, the logistics was just a nightmare. And so they've worked with Camp Margaritaville, and it's really a great venue. Um, turf field, bring your lawn chair, and have a great Easter sunrise service. And then 
we roll into the Eagles uh, barbecue cook-off the first weekend of April, April 5th and 6th. And that's also a great time. And also remember, April 8th is the solar eclipse. In fact, we're going to be leaving Saturday afternoon once the barbecue's over and head up to my mom's for her 91st birthday probably. Uh, which is the following weekend, but we're going to go up there because they're in that Austin area is in that zone where you'll get a total eclipse. And so we're going to try and get up there and see that. And then on the 20th, you have the watermelon crawl for the a fundraiser for the Sp Peninsula Sports Park. And then we roll into May and the granddaddy of them all, the Texas Crab Festival. And we've got some more information coming on that. So, but this weekend, February 10th, we're excited. The Mardi Gras Parade's here in Crystal Beach, Texas. Kicks off at 1130. Um, it's going to be a great time. Don't worry about the weather. It's going to be okay. Uh, that's I'm mental telepathy I'm, I'm seeing ahead. Uh, right now, they're calling for a little rain, but I'm hoping that it either comes after or Friday evening. And the parade's great. Temperatures are looking good in the mid to upper 60s. And so hopefully all goes well. We're going to be out and about. Uh, remember, if you see the Bolivar Live truck on the beach, make sure you ask it, Ask us what's free today. We've got a uh, basket full of goodies already, and we're going to add to it. So we're going to head on out. I've got to go turn everything off. Rachel's not here yet. It's a little early for her. And I wanted to get something out and say hi to everyone. I don't even have my coffee sitting on the counter over there. So anyway, see you this weekend at Mardi Gras Parade 2024 here on the Upper Texas Coast. I'm David with Bolivar Live. Y'all have a great day, great week. Come see us. God bless. And bye-bye.